Hello. So today at work, I was building a React app, and inside this app, I needed to detect bar a barcode scan from a physical barcode plug or a barcode scanner. Sorry, plugged into my computer, and I needed to obviously do something with the value that was scanned. So I was trying to figure out how to do this, and I couldn't. I didn't come across any simple solutions online. So I wanted to make a quick little video for you to explain the solution I came up with and uh, how to implement it yourself if you want to do that. Um, so first, I need to explain a little, give a little background on what a barcode is and what a barcode scanner is. So a barcode is essentially just a font. Um, so you can put in again whatever whatever data you want, um, whatever text you want, just like any other font, and it types it out into a barcode. And so you can see over here on the right, I've generated a barcode with a random barcode generator. So I put in this data here and it outputs this, um, this barcode. Again, just a font. So now what does a barcode scanner do? Now a barcode scanner, it reads that font. Um, it can read the barcode font. So it reads the font and then it types it into your computer and presses enter. So it's essentially a font reader and a keyboard. Um, so it types it in with the exactly the same that a keyboard does. Um, it triggers the same events, uh, so et cetera, all that. And then it just presses enter at the end to uh, to just determine or to show that the uh, the input is finished uh, or return if you're on a Mac. So let me give you a quick demonstration here um, and you'll see kind of how that works. So I gener generated this barcode over here with the word barcode test, bar barcode test on the right. Now, when I come into the console here on the left and I'm gonna go ahead and scan this barcode, you can see what happened is it wrote barcode test and pressed enter. And obviously that's gonna throw a JavaScript error um, in the console. Uh, but then this app that I built here, what happens when I scan the, when I can scan the barcode inside the app, what does is it text the scan, presses enter. Um, and then what it does is, so it detects the scan, the scan and displays it here to the screen. So let me show you how I did this. Very simple. So you import use effect, use state. I only used here to set the display for the barcode. Um, you, you obviously can use that in your own app if you want. Uh, but in this case, the only reason that I actually used it was to uh, display the barcode scan. What you do need, you do need this barcode scan variable. And I'll show you why here in a second. The second thing that you're going to need to define is going to be the handle scan function. So let me open this up. What this function does is it takes in the barcode, the scanned barcode string and does something with it. So in my case, very simple, I'm gonna set the barcode display. In your case, you may do whatever, whatever you end up doing with that barcode. Um, is that function that is going to go here. Um, great. Now let me show you use effect. So here's where all the functionality really goes down. So let me start here at the bottom. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting a doc, uh, uh, event listener on the document for a key down. Now, if we go back to what I was saying about barcode scanners, remember that it's essentially a keyboard. So anytime that the barcode scanner types any key at all, it triggers a key down event. So what I'm doing here is I'm setting an add event listener, uh, or I'm setting an event listener for key down, and I'm putting my handle key down function in there, which I'll go over here in a second. Um, and then here you have a cleanup. Um, I'm pretty sure this this all this does is uh, avoids the use of because a use effect will re render will rerun um, on certain renders. So what this does is it avoids you having multiple event listeners and I'm getting caught in this big loop of them. Uh, so just make sure that you have this cleanup. Again, that's a, that's a topic for another day, but make sure that you put the cleanup here. Otherwise you're gonna run into some issues. Now, inside this handle key down function, you're going to pass through the parameter for the event. You can put, I put E, but again, you can use E, you can use event, you can use whatever you want, but remember that this is the event coming through. So. Coming down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip these ifs for now, and I'm gonna show you here, and then I'm gonna, this functionality, and then I'm gonna come back. So what you're gonna do down here towards the bottom of the function, you're going to add the barcodes, the 
newly scanned key, uh, not scanned key, I guess, but typed key by the uh, by the barcode scanner. So remember, this function triggers every time the barcode scanner types a key at all. So when that barcode scanner types a key, it takes the key, e.key is going to give you the value of that type, that typed uh, that typed value. So say I type the key F, this e.key is going to equal F. So all that does is adds that F key to the barcode scan string, which we again set up here outside the use effect. Now, what you're going to do after, after you add the key to the barcode scan is you're going to have a set timeout here. So this, is, this was my uh, solution to this. Was, so how do you detect the difference between somebody typing and it being a barcode scan? Well, barcode scans, they type super fast, right? So they can type almost instantly. So I gave this, this 100 milliseconds here. After this 100 milliseconds from the initial key type, the, the very first key that's typed, because again, this is going to be called on every single key down. So after the first key down, the set timeout is going to be going to be set. And so after 100 milliseconds, it's going to clear the bar scan value. It's going to say this was no longer a bar, can, bar barcode scan. It took over 100 milliseconds. That means that a human's typing. This is not a barcode scan. Um, so that I gave it 100 milliseconds. Um, maybe maybe you have really long barcodes uh, or a laggy computer, and that's not going to be long enough. If that's the case, you can continue upping the milliseconds until it is consistent for you. Um, now, if I come over to, let's go back to the ifs here at the beginning, and I'll show you why those ifs are there. So the first if, what it does is it detects if there's an if enter key was pressed. Now, again, the enter key signifies the end of the input for a barcode scanner. So once that enter key is pressed, whoops, my barcode scanner just turned on, I think. Um, so that the key code, so the key code is different than the key. So the key gives you the actual value of the key pressed. Each, but each key on your keyboard has a key code associated with it, which is just a number, um, an integer. So the key code integer for enter is 13. So in this case, I say if the key code, which means it was 13, which means the enter key was pressed, then, a, a, okay, and also I want to make sure the barcode scan length is already over three. Because say I press, say I'm really quick on the keyboard and I press A or, or I just press a single key and press enter. Well, if it's, if it, if I can do that in under 100 milliseconds, it would detect it as a barcode scan. Well, all my barcodes are going to be over three characters long. I can't type three characters with and press enter within 100 milliseconds, no matter how fast or how how uh, how many times I try. So basically, I'll say if the length of the barcode scan is already over three and enter is pressed, then we can safely determine that this is a barcode scan. Um, and then that barcode scan variable already holds the value that you that you want from the scanner. So you feed that through to your handle scan function and then do what you will with it there. Great, so now you know, and then you return, don't forget to return. Great, so now you know when the barcode is finished scanning and how to detect that. And then remember we set this timeout, so you don't have to worry about clearing this func this variable out because this, this set timeout function here will clear it out regardless of whether it's used or not. Now after, there's one more key code that I wanted to skip. So I decided to skip the shift key so that because when you press shift, it, the key, the actual key here, the e.key comes through as the word shift, which is not what I wanted. Um, and so the capitals will still come through correctly, but I wanted to skip the, the shift because the next, if you press shift and another key, that key will come through as a capital, but I did not want the shift key coming through. So I skipped the shift key. I said, if the, if the key code is, is 16, which is the shift key, return the function, don't do anything with it. Um, so yeah, that is basically the whole function. So let's, let's give a really quick run over, ru uh, rundown of it again. So you set the bar barcode scan variable. You set the event listener for a key down. So every time a key is pressed, then, the bar then the, this function runs, it's handle key down. 
Within this key down function, you say if it's an enter and the barcode scan is already three, three long, that means that it is a barcode scan and it is finished being scanned. Go ahead and send that off to the handle scan function and return the function. Now, if it's not an enter key, then check and see if it's a shift key. If it's a shift key, let's completely skip over it. Now, if it's neither of those, go ahead and add that key value to the barcode scan and continue and continue on to the last part of the function here, which is to set a timeout. Say it, from the point that this key was scanned, if an in, if uh, sorry, from the point this key was scanned, 100 milliseconds from now, clear the barcode scan. Great. And then um, from there, the only other thing is that the handle scan function, do whatever you want with it in here. Uh, so I hope that helps. Um, I'll show you one more time. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and put new new data in here. Let's say finished barcode. Uh, great. We generated the new barcode. We're going to scan it. Per Oops. You got to be in the application. There you go. Showed up perfectly. So I hope this helped. Um, if it did, great. Um, and if it didn't, sorry, I couldn't help you. So best of luck.